Hey everybody, Tim here with today's review of Doctor Who, The Macara Terror. Like, I couldn't get into this one. I tried so hard and I feel so bad. It's four episodes and all four are missing, but all four have been animated. This year it actually came out. And so I was like, this will be great. I'm super excited to kind of see like what, what's, what it's like to be animated and stuff like that. But I still, I couldn't get into it where like as soon as they arrive, there's Madoc, the crazy guy, and they're arrested. The controller, which is like the face that doesn't move, which felt very like Equilibrium, like 1984, something like that, where it's like just this picture of a guy that doesn't talk, but he's giving directions. So stuff like that. <clears throat> The horrible creatures, um, which I guess they're supposed to be insect-like, but they're, they look like crabs to me. Um, like the doctor setting Madoc free and then they all end up getting arrested because he gets caught again from running away. They do the mining, the poisonous gas. Um, and then sure enough, everybody has like a curfew. So these crabs can all come out at night and it's very like Zoidberg, like whoop, 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 whoop. And I was like, okay, like what's, what is the point in this? Like I could not get into it no matter how hard I tried. Um, the controller wants the new arrivals and basically just goes after the doctor and like at one point he even's like pilot is no longer in control the whatever the cop's name he is in control because they go down this secret tunnel and they realize that the macaras are the ones who are running everything that's why they need the poisonous gases to survive um Let's see, Ben ends up going with the brainwashing because they're they're all asleep and there's little speakers above their te of, above their beds talking to them while they're sleeping. And of course, Jamie wakes up and tries to wake everybody up, but Ben is the only one that falls for it. He, of course, he breaks the brainwashing at the perfect second and saves everybody. But I was like, what is this? Like, I'm just done. Um, I did love the scene where um, Jamie's trying to sneak past these guys doing their cheer. And he's like, let's see your gay and cheerful dance. And Jamie has to do this like Lord of the Dance thing and he's like, okay, and I'm out. Um, so that was kind of like, it was so over the top and I couldn't get into it. Um, so I'm curious more of, I guess, what you guys think. What did it remind you of? So the macros actually do make an appearance in the episode Gridlock, which was with the 10th Doctor, which was a little bit of a shout out. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited to get to that point way down the road um just to kind of see if i remember it um but overall yeah i couldn't i couldn't get into this one with the crabs and everything um i don't know if it would make it better if it had been live action because the animation was great like watching it animated i don't even know how they did this live action with all of the costumes and stuff like that so for those who have seen it what did you guys think go ahead let me know thank you guys for everything and i will see you guys next time for the faceless ones